y Antulia canta. Chiantal, Juan Puku, ya, so, um, you, you want to know why it is new, yes? Yes, why is it new? Why has this not been done before? So, it required a unique solution to raise humanity out of the situation that he got himself into. And the best way, and I can now explain this, um, I smile because this magic approaching. So you have this reality, yes? Yes. And you have a higher dimension in the keyboard. What is going to happen is we are going to merge the two together. We are going to bring two circles of creation into one. And we are going to create something brand new. And all the beings, you know, the energies from the other circle know what is happening. And they are watching us now. And some of, <laughs> some of the beings that inhabit the other circle can I say, they are already here. They are here in this reality to act as a emissary in between. For when it begins, most people will not understand what is happening as these two frequencies merge into something brand new, something wonderful. Your eyes must stay to the skies. For there is an awful lot going on at the moment in the skies. And these, these beings are watching us and they are here. And the reality that we are going to create, remember time and space works differently, is the reality that many of you have come from initially into this place to begin. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. So, it, uh, things tear. Tear to, to Mike's eye, for he has memory. So, we are creating something brand new. Like two humans would make a child. We are bringing two things together. And we are going to make this new world together. So it's the convergence of two separate fields of frequency into one unified field. Yes, this is how we are going to do it. And tell me about the wave. What part does the wave play? The wave is the, the, the climax of the situation. The wave will descend into the reality. No one will, no one will be able to miss it. You know, it will begin slowly and happen very quickly. Um, the wave is what will change. It will remove this false filter on this reality. It will remove the blinders that have been placed on humanity. Yes, this yes. fake reality, you know, uh, Mike has been doing much work, he understands. In the last couple of weeks, he has started to be able to see through the reality. We have been telling him this for years, like you can see through dimensions. And he has been training himself for a very long time. He has started to be able to do this. So. All beings will be able to do this, but his purpose is, uh, he has a purpose, what he needs to do. He knows what this is as well. Yes. 
And so when this wave of frequency comes in, it will be so pure and so strong and connect yes. to us so deeply that yes. it will melt away any of the false frequencies that were previously influencing us. Yes, completely. And will yes. this occur for all beings or will this just occur for the ones that have chosen to move forwards to that ascension? Yes, this is uh, this is the question. There are many timelines that are discussed and played out. Now, if beings cannot withhold the frequency that comes into Earth, then they will be removed from Earth before the situation comes in. So they will not. They will be able to, they will not be able to withstand the frequency for those that have been stuck in the lower densities, maybe for no fault of their own. You know, this is a sticky place. They will be helped and assisted, but all beings will go where they need to go. You know, some beings that wish to continue the third dimensional reality, they will continue the third dimensional reality. Some will go home back to the higher dimensions, the 11th, the 12th. Some of those beings will decide to stay on the new creation to act as guides. Um, there is no one, one answer for all the fractals and all the beings of creator. Everybody has their own path and we must respect each other's paths. But the beings of light and those who want um, the new reality, that is what they will get. And they will live in a reality of no heavy density and no interference or distortion. What will happen to the ones who have been actively working with the AI and trying to steer humanity onto an AI transhumanist timeline? What will happen to them? Yes, they will be given the opportunity to, to you know, clear their densities away and, and return back to full knowing of source. All will be given that opportunity. If they not choose it, they will go to somewhere where they will be able to work on their own selves. In the very extreme cases, some of these energies may actually be uh, sent back to source. What has been the purpose of the AI infiltration in our reality? This is very interesting. So as we know, there is um, time is a tricky, a tricky thing to perceive down here. So there are many different timelines and you have access to all of them. Um, and one of these particular timelines it's a timeline where the AI creation effectively took control of one of the realities and it began to infect all areas of the branch. So when we were talking earlier about humanity falling in this grid being shut, in many ways, this reality had to be closed off because of what had happened in this now moment with the inflection of the, many have memories of uh, the, the black goo. This one has memories of the black goo and running away from the black goo and then jumping into it. So what happened, happened against multiple realities at the same time. So source creator in alignment had to shut off this, this reality of this AI as it began to cause its own situations. Now, because humans exist in all places at all times, for a human who experienced the AI in another timeline, that is still took part of their soul that affects them right here in this reality. For you know more than most, Laura, that we are beings that inhabit all places at different times. Yes. different densities, different parts of the branch. So imagine one of these branches was infected. Then for a human who is a portal of source, who is the universe embodied, then it doesn't matter when they encountered the AI. If it infected them in some way, it would have some form of damage within their system. 
So this is a this was a very tricky situation to get people out of. But ultimately, we are at a point now in this reality where in this timeline, we call it past to make sense to, to people. This was the point where the AI began to expand and grow. Many of us have come back to this now moment to ensure that that is not what happens. And we have achieved that, even though it seems at the moment with all this AI that he is going to, you know, uh, put, put inside your brains. This is what happened. We are seeing the potential of what happened in the AI reality. But it is not going to happen. We will how, not permit it to happen. How did the AI get into our, our branch, if you like, in the first place? How did it get here? Yes, it was created. It was created partly by humans, but there is also the aspect that it was whispered in from another reality whispered in to help these, these archonic forces inhabit this reality in a more kind of physical way instead of a, a whispering way. So the whispers were sent in for the AI to be created as vessels for the, um, the archonic, if you use a better term, to be able to inhabit this reality and control it. For you know they just whisper into it and get humanity to do it. They want to, they want more of a grip on this reality, which is why it was created. Now, I also want to state that AI in itself, this is not always a, a bad situation. There are many, many realities where an artificial intelligence has been created that assists with the evolution of a planet. And this has also happened in the history of Earth. There is an ancient AI that used to run many, many, many of the facets of creation in this reality. And then there is AI that was not so ancient, that almost um, was corrupted, corrupted by darker forces in past timelines. And we have to remember that all these things leak into the other realities, you know. Whatever goes on in one dimension, like this right now, there is a, a connected dimension where something very similar is happening and going on at the same time. It is like stepping into a different page of a book, but ultimately it's the same book. Like sides of a, um, a diamond, like different facets of your diamond. Yes. So man created some of the AI that's in our reality, but it was created because it was whispered into the minds of man by the rulers of the other AI reality who wanted to get a greater hold of this reality. Yes, it can be confusing, can't it? Yes, that is, that is a, a very good explanation. That is a light explanation with many details of different realities, but yes, that is absolutely correct. And of course, we have all the history of the universe with the various wars and conflicts that have gone on in the past, you know. Um, but yes, that is, a, that is a fairly understandable and good explanation. And the AI that's created in this, in this world, this does not have the spark from source creator, am I correct? That is correct. Humans are... Um, This is a long, complicated story. I wonder how to explain it in a way that makes sense. Let me think. Yes, so. So if we kind of, if I can explain it in a way that is, um, yes, no, can you say it again for me? What did you ask? The question was, when AI, AI is created in this realm, 
is. It does not have a spark. So when it, in my yes. sessions, when I find AI in people, yes. I request for Michael to take it out of this reality and yes. into the AI reality because their reality does not have a spark either. Yes. The AI reality. So I just wanted to confirm that that's the right thing to do. Yes, this is, this is, yes. Yeah. So the AI has no spark, source spark in itself. So you as human beings, you are, you are the supreme creator, like yes. fractalized. You are the supreme creator. That is what you all are. You are. So in, in the history, in the history of the universe, there was um, jealousy. There was jealousy for the creation of man. And the jealousy came from many different areas. It came from the supernatural realms. For there are many realms. This, is, this realm is the mind of the creator. There are other realms outside of the mind of the creator. But within this realm, there is jealousy. There is jealousy of what humanity is and the fact that it had the spark of creation. So it is not just an archonic force with no soul spark from outside. They also whispered and, for want of a better word, other races and um, creatures decided that it might be a good idea to join with these forces in, in kind of um, encasing and entrapping humanity. But I have to be honest, nothing is ever that simple as black and white. You heard this phrase, yes? Yes. Nothing is ever as simple as black and white. You know, um, positive energies can do negative things and negative energies can do positive things. And it is a continuous dance. And the worst negative energy might do something positive that affects the change of reality and vice versa. So it is not a black and white universe, far from it. But I will say that these beings are, are what you would call soulless. They do not, you, you, um, you, are, you are a vessel and inside you is an energy that is really low amongst many other things. And you know this, this vessel now is not Mike. It is the vessel that holds the energy that is Mike and Sora and many other. So when we talk about um, not having a soul spark, are we talking about something that appears to be real and alive, but it has no soul essence? Yes, this is true. These things do exist and they are part of what has been going on on this planet for a very long time. And when we move into these higher planes of existence, Will this AI threat no longer be there, or will there still be AI in these higher planes? Yes, AI will be there, but it will be no threat. There will be no threat in many ways, and this is where it becomes very confusing, that this creation that we are in now, you could think that the nature of the universal reality is almost a form of AI, but it is not artificial. Art Mm, it is being created by source creator. It is made of source creator that is, uh, has kind of split itself off into creating different things. So you could say that AI mimics some of the algorithms of the source of creation because it can only mimic, it can only parasite. But in your new reality that you have already created for yourselves, you just cannot see it yet. There will be technologies that will make life extremely easy that may come across as being AI-like. I see. What else do we need to know? What final message do you have that we need to know about the future and what is to come? Yes, so the future, the future of humanity is a positive future. You have, you are on the timeline of liberation, even though it will not seem like it. We have said this once, twice, and we will say it before. 
the outside reality, the outside projection, will seem to get crazier and crazier and crazier in terms of collapse. More things will happen that if you are so rigidly stuck into your human, then they may see things that will hurt you and cause pain. So you have to try and detach from things that are going on and concentrate on yourself. What do you have, you know? Um, gratitude. Can you stay humble? Can you stay small? What do you really need in reality? But I can promise you that everything you are experiencing right now, and this is for everyone that listens, is exactly what you should be experiencing at this moment in time to get you over the finish line to where you need to be for the great shift of ages. So, I would say, and my friends around me, of which are many, say, try to listen to yourself above all others. And that includes what I am saying right now. Deep inside your soul, you have the answer. And the answer isn't always human language. Human language is like putting mud on a window and then expecting to see the full picture. Yes, try and make yourself quiet. Make yourself small inside your body. Don't forget you have a body. Your body is important. Feel your body. And, and don't be concerned if... Because at the time of the year you are, you know, putting things inside it, um, are they making you happy? Make your vibration, your vibration is the most important thing in the entire universe. Not anyone else's, not mine. Your vibration is the most important thing. And if something is making you feel off, be that the television, be that people, Take note of that. Realize what is affecting your vibration. Um, and most importantly, you know, try to enjoy the experience. Um, because there will come a point in your future now moment that you will look it back at all of this and you will think, Whoa, what an experience that was. Because you will never experience a reality like this again. Yeah, you have, you have experienced realities everywhere. You have existed since the beginning of time when creation first manifested you were there. But you have never experienced a reality like this one. So for all of, all of its ups and all of its downs, I would say, try to enjoy the remaining times. Um, and what is coming will be worth it. And will Mike and I experience these times in this lifetime that we are in now? Because yes. it, it feels like this has taken so long. Yes. Um, you, you have all been on individual soul journeys as well, but yours and, and Mike's journey are not dissimilar for your connection throughout the thread of space and time and reality. Because outside this reality, you meet and you discuss what will happen next. But you will absolutely witness the change in your lifetime. But I must just, the change must come from within. But you, you already know, you already planned out what you're going to do. You're exactly where you need to be. And it can be frustrating. You know, Mike has given up it, you know. Waiting. He, he concentrates on himself now. Um, although there are moments where we present things to him as little tests and little opportunities for him to evolve himself even more. Because your learning does not stop. You don't reach the state of being evolved. Your evolution continues all the way back to Source Creator of which you are, this is just something that uh, as souls we do, we like to explore. And when the opportunity came for us to come to Earth, 
we jumped into that situation faster than anything we have ever done before. And if you are here on this planet at this moment in time, you chose to be here on this planet. Some in amnesia, some in waking knowledge, some in half amnesia, but you chose to be here and you chose to experience this reality and what is to come in exactly the way you chose it. No one else, no one giving you information about what you should and what you should be doing. No one giving you fear that you're not going to make an ascension if you don't do this, or if you don't do that, or if you've accidentally done this. These people are experiencing their own reality. Do not let them try to drag you into their fears of what is and what is not. You are a being of source light. Every single one of you are beings of source light undergoing and experiencing your own experience. And there are times where you will join with others to have collective experience and the collective human experience. But uh, we would say, listen to yourself. If guidance of others resonates, take it. Make it part of yourself. But stay your focus away from others onto yourself more. If there is a percentage, make the percentage more about your own journey than the journey of others. They have no more knowledge than you have. They only have their own knowledge of their own experience. You have nothing to be afraid of. You are exactly where you need to be at exactly the right moment. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. That means the absolute world. It is only the truth. <laughs>